So ever since we got Cyberstorm access, we got a bunch of new decks including Purely, Super Heavy Samurai, as well as Mana Dome. But we also got older decks getting fantastic support such as Dragon Link, Despia, Math Mech, and Gold Pride Punk. There's only one small little issue though. One microscopic problem that shouldn't bother too many people. And that's the fact that nobody cares. The old decks that used to exist like 5 months ago are still just as good right now and nothing forces you to actually play the newer decks. And even though I am talking about runic and sprite based strategies, I'm also really targeting Kashira here. The most boring and repetitive deck list are seeing huge success right now and it's honestly really disappointing. I'd love to see a format where people are forced to take into consideration the newer decks, but that's not really happening right now. Instead of that, we're seeing top cuts completely dominated by Kashtira, and they're actually taking over 50% of the representation usually. I believe the top 8 in YCS Santiago and Chile had 6 Kashtira, which is 75% representation. That's technically tier 0-like, but it doesn't necessarily mean the deck is tier 0 because it's also seeing less representation in other events. Don't worry because we're still seeing decks other than Kashtira do well, but definitely not on the same level. And then again, even when we are seeing other decks, it's usually the same decks again and again because it's really hard to do well in a format where all your zones keep getting locked and your resources banished. Again, it's an illusion of a diverse format because a lot of decks are doing technically well, but Kashtira is by far the best deck and people just don't really realize it yet. Honestly, the deck just needed to get nerfed before we got Cyberstorm access in order to promote the newer decks. If anything, I would even go as far as to say that the new set, Cyberstorm access even made Kashtira better. And the reason for that is because a lot of players are now trying to deck build to beat Super Heavy Samurai, which indirectly makes Kashtira a little better. Everyone is now playing the exact same cards to counter Super Heavy Samurai, like, you know, Ghost Ogre, Droll, etc. And Ghost Ogre is relatively weak against Kashtira because, of course, it's a card that actually has to send itself to the graveyard, so under Shifter it does nothing, and against the Rizard it also does nothing. And Droll is kind of like a 50 50 because if they straight up open the Unicorn, then you lose, and if you have to Droll on an empty board, they can actually Gamma you. Either way, people have less cards to side against Kashtira because they're forced to respect the new decks which is really in the benefit of Kashtira and the older decks in general. Basically you have to make concessions this format and kind of choose what you want to be winning against and what you want to be losing against. In a world where everybody wants to play the newer decks like Purely, Super Heavy Samurai, Mana Dome, etc, you have to deck build to beat these decks in particular. But if people say fuck that and they want to play Kashtira then you're forced to deck build really just to beat Kashtira. You will always have dead cards against a certain deck realistically so you just have to pick your poison at this point. Do you want to be consistently winning against Kashtira and Sprite as well as Nature Runic or Runic Stun or do you want to be consistently winning against Purely and Super Heavy Samurai? Deck building is now super awkward because we have a lot of decks running around and you can't really predict your matchups. All you can do is playtest against everyone in order to actually do the right moves when you're playing and of course play hand traps with the most amount of overlap so that your hand traps are never really dead against a certain deck. This isn't like last format back in like February and stuff when everybody expected Kashtira because you actually used to be able to main deck cards like Book of Eclipse and get away with it. Now you absolutely cannot main deck Book of Eclipse anymore even though Kashtira is popular because it does absolutely nothing against Purely because their Noir is unaffected and it's also not really good against Despia and Super Heavy Samurai. And board breakers are really awkward because sometimes they're extremely strong against a certain deck but at the same time they can be extremely weak or inappropriate. And because of how much Yu-Gi-Oh has evolved over the years, people are now main decking their side deck. What I mean to say is that, uh, you know, a few years ago people didn't really have to main deck like 15 hand traps to win unless they were like in a tier 0 format. Whereas I feel like right now people can main deck 12 hand traps in literally any given format and it always works. And my issue is that it makes this game way more reliant on circumstances rather than anything else. And by circumstances I mean the quality of the hand traps that you're drawing, the quantity as well, the you know brick rate that you're having, the matchups that you're encountering etc. Consistency now comes second after stopping your opponent which is the biggest priority. Because again back in the days things weren't really like that the main priority was getting your engine going and you didn't really care that much about what your opponent was trying to do to you. Hand traps were less impactful because the game didn't really end in one turn, but now it kind of does. In today's day and age, you just play a bunch of hand traps, a bunch of one card combos, and hope that you draw your one card combo, your extender, and a bunch of hand traps. If you draw too many hand traps, you lose, and if you draw too many combo cards, you lose. And this makes it so that every single format we encounter, we're always seeing the exact same kind of decks because they're always playing like 12 hand traps, a bunch of consistency cards, and there is never anything extraordinary about them. This is the absolute worst way of fixing a tier zero format like tier elements format because now we're getting all their negative aspects of that format carried over to this one. You got the worst of both worlds where you need to main deck cards like hand traps to beat super heavy samurai, kaijus for purely, 
Kashiri, as well as Book of Eclipse, Book of Moon, whatever, in order to counter Kashira. Sure, there might be some cards that might be decent against all three of them, but again, they will always be decent and not really fantastic. And unfortunately, because of how aggressive modern day Yu-Gi-Oh is, you kinda need fantastic and broken cards, not really fair and balanced cards. This, again, just proves my point that the most important thing in Yu-Gi-Oh right now is quality of your hands that you're drawing and not really quality of your gameplay. Your skill never matters if you keep getting hand to death or all your zones keep getting locked or if you're getting FTK'd, hand looped, or whatever. All you can do is deck build at the best of your capabilities, playtest a lot understand trends and understand how to counter them. And again, even with a perfect deck list, you can actually go into a tournament and not really do well because you keep getting unlucky with bad matchups or bad draws. But anyways, that's pretty much all I have to say for this video. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.